I want to just do a quick video on this Bronco survival rifle. It's a single shot 22 LR uh, rifle and uh, this one is the non takedown version. So I'm just going to show how it works and um, uh, a little bit more about it. So first off the only markings that are on the gun are on the are cast into the uh, butt area of the gun and it says um, firearms international and it's located in Washington but I believe they're made in um, in Spain and they were imported the the metal is cast I'm not sure what exactly it's cast out of it, it appears to be um, like a sil or a a goldish color I don't know if it's bronze or copper or what it actually is the material and then it's uh, got this uh, sort of crinkle finish over top of it and everything about the gun is just super basic it's made to be uh, super light and durable uh, the safety is just a simple cross bolt safety the sights are these uh, it's a fixed front sight and the rear sight seems to be able to move side to side and it's very it's a very very primitive rear sight it's just like a flat stamp piece of steel or just a flat cut piece of steel with a notch but it's extremely accurate it works just excellent I, i've shot this gun at 50 yards and it, it's just it's dead on so the sights Although they appear to be um, horrible, they're actually excellent for at least the 22 LR uh, cartridge in this gun. So if you can see here is the uh, sight picture. It's just a, a notch in um, a front post. Just super, super basic. So the way this gun works to load it, you pull back on this trigger here. Well, uh, it's like a... It looks like a trigger, but it um, it's it's for the loading of the gun. You pull back on this, and then the barrel. See if I can do it with one hand. There, the barrel uh, will unlatch, just like that, and it tilts around, and then you put your your cartridge in uh, you put your cartridge in here and then there's even a little uh, a little kicker to knock the spent casings out which is really nice um, and then you just you just rotate the barrel and it locks in place like that and it's uh, it's ready to go you could see even with one hand it's actually very easy to actuate this gun and this gun is the non takedown there is another one I've seen it has a it, it's pretty easy to tell there's like a little bar on here that um, is for the takedown and um, uh, it's pretty easy to tell that version from this version and this gun is also available in uh, 410 caliber uh, I've seen them and I've I've seen a couple of these over the years they aren't super common but they do come up every now and then in there it's actually an excellent little rifle and uh, oh one of the other features is if you look underneath here there's a slot and I think it's for a winter trigger um, attachment which I have never seen I don't know um, I don't know if they're available from the company or or what it is but uh, it is slotted here um, so that's just another little feature but if you come across one of these they're they're definitely worth picking up and they usually run pretty cheap so um, so it's called the Bronco and it's an excellent little survival 22 and uh, as you can see it's pretty easy to um, actuate the gun so I guess other than that um, thank you for watching
Before I go, I might just mention one other thing is uh, I'm filming right now and it's about one degree out. Um, and this metal, even the part that's got the finish on it is actually quite cold. So uh, I, if this was something you're gonna use regularly and uh, if it was a survival rifle for, and you're in a colder environment, I suggest wrapping this barrel and the stock and everything with with anything because it's actually very cold to um, uh, if you hold it up uh, by the metal so uh, that's just one thing I, I thought I'd um, I mentioned thank you